it's Dawson here from Mountain Entertainment and welcome back to Farming Simulator 17 Work and today we are going to be doing some tree removal, sorry I was uh, fixing my headphones. So we got the Chevy 3500 hooked up to this PJ, or not PJ, sorry, Eager Beaver trailer and that has a, I think this is the landscape trailer and then we got the Bobcat uh, T770 on here with a turbo saw uh, grinder wheel thing. So I think that'll help us remove stumps, I'm not really sure. But you know what I forgot to get? I forgot to buy us a chainsaw. Let's just call one of our buddies and get... Let's see, what one's better, I wonder? I don't think there's honestly a difference. Let's go with this Husqvarna. I think that's how you say it. Alright, so we got a dead pine tree. It's actually a pretty tall pine tree that we gotta go remove uh, from this. It's an old farmhouse and the, this new couple moved into the property and um, it's right next to the... There's like this little stable kind of area and they want to get a horse and all that so they don't want to have a tree fall on their horse or uh, fall on any other stuff so they called us out to come remove it so that is what we're gonna be doing so just so you guys know it is uh, you guys only got about one more week to enter into the uh, 2017 Christmas giveaway that I'm doing if you don't know about that I'm giving away a hundred or a hundred dollars worth of prizes a fifty dollar gift card a $30 gift card and a $20 gift card for 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, uh, 50, 30, and 20, so all what you need to do is in a video about two days ago, I think I went up on Tuesday, so uh, if you want to get entered to have a chance to win, that is where you go to enter, so just so you know and you don't miss out. There's a train coming from somewhere, I don't know where, but... There it is. I was like, I don't want to get hit by a train. I thought it was coming up over the hill, and I was like, oh, I don't want to get hit today. Don't want to get hit today. So I was going to do a different video for today, but another Farm Simulator 17 work video, but I was sitting down to record that, and I was like, you know what we haven't done in a while? Uh, tree removal. So that is what we're going to be doing today, and possibly we'll do that video on Sunday or something. I'm not sure because on Saturday we do have plans to go pick up all that sugar cane so we'll have to go do that this Saturday and I don't know what we're doing Friday actually we might be able to do that job on Friday um, I'm not sure yet though do these have the same side steps as the F450 does they look like it alright so we're, what is that? Oh, diesel. Uh, I don't know. That, that's a weird spot for a diesel tank, I think. But oh, here's the property. There's a tall tree. It's a big pine. Uh, so. That died, sadly. Alright, we'll just kind of pull on into here. Alright. Yeah, so this is like their little stable area, I guess. I don't know. Hi, how are you doing today? Yep, I am here to just remove the tree. And would you like me to haul it all away, or would you like it to be just left over there and you guys can get it for firewood? All right, yeah, no, no problem. All right, all right, they want it for firewood, so I need that. Um, excuse me, can I just pull my truck over there? Is that fine, or uh, would you like me to just park it over here? All right, yep, thank you. Alright, they said we can pull it on over there. This is actually nice at house. I haven't been to this house before. Okay, just kinda... Come on over here. I'm trying to think of how I wanna fall this tree. Cause I'm not really sure. Alright, so let's take a look at this. So we got this little, I don't know what kind of tree that is, but then this is the one we're trying to pull out. So if we make a cut like this, it'll fall down that way kind of, 
and then hopefully tip that way. All right, so let's see. I think that'll be how we'll do it. Okay. All right, we'll just turn on our hazards and our parking lights. Even though I don't think anyone will hit us. You never know. Come on, turn on beacon. There we go. We need to run the beacon at all times. Alright. I just wanted to get this off the trailer. So. If something does happen, we got that close by. Whoops. Alright, let's see. in the fall. Okay, we'll just remove this little piece right here. No? Alright, let's see. I don't wanna... Why is it going? Looks like it was. There we go. Timba! <laughs> Alright, let's see. Alright, yeah, we don't need that on right now. Alright, we'll just get a real quick picture. Alright, so since they want it for firewood, all we're going to do with it is um, cut it all up and remove all the branches and stuff off of it for them. And like cut it into little manageable pieces. Get that out of there. Stupid head. All right. All right, let's see. Just kinda cut it in little sections and see if we can lift them. And if so, they should be able to move them by themselves. All right. I think right about there will be a good length uh, to do this at. And I don't know if I can move these all by hand or not, so I'll have to check. Okay. Oh no. No, come on. Thought that fence would just stop him, but I guess not. Okay, that's the trunk right there. And I'll just remove all this and set it all over here. There's that one piece. You might want to burn that or whatnot. Alright, let's just continue down the line. I might actually be a little bit too big, but it'll work hopefully. Hopefully we can move all these. I'm not really sure about how long they got can be for us to move them. But yeah, we can move those still. Right, those are actually kind of perfect logs. For length, I think. Just move on down the line. Cutting the wood. There's not like, oh, that one's a lot longer. Oh well. Okay. Now we're getting into the tough bark kind of area. Okay. Let's make sure. Yep. This is, oh, there's a piece we missed. Alright, I'm going to get some more of this cut up real quick, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, so 
I got all the tree cut down as you can see or chopped up into little pieces none of it's left and I neatly piled it over here I don't know why but I find it satisfying seeing piles of wood stacked especially like ones that are really tight together like in real life it's like art it's really awesome how uh, you can do things like that but we got all of them here uh, it did uh, we did get rid of the little top pieces because they're so this is that one or that one's one of our smallest pieces and these are our biggest like width wise um, so it, if we kept those little pieces they would have been really tiny but as you can see these are uh, this area is pretty known for pine trees especially this field and so it's not uh, uncommon to see these pine trees uh, die like this, so. This is the stump we gotta remove. There's actually two more pieces over here that I forgot about. So we'll just set these over here for them. These are the little um, pieces that uh, we cut out and stuff to kind of get our first layer going. Alright, we'll use this. I think this is actually meant to cut the tree down with, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that's what this is meant to be for. Not what I thought it was. Yeah, it's not spinning all that fast. Oh well. I'll just let them know that we couldn't get the stump out. I didn't bring the right tool, and if they want us to come back, we will. Okay, I did think we were going to have to pull, uh, take some wood out of here, but it looks like we won't have to today. Alright, we can turn off our lights. We'll leave the beacon on on the bobcat. It's actually kind of good to have it on, I think. Um, not really when we're driving, but it'll be fine, I think. So the bobcat was kind of useless to bring today, but that's alright. Same with the trailer, but we did get a new trailer out of doing this job. We bought it. Never forget. Yep, hey, how are you doing? Yep, so, I got the tree removed. It's all piled up next to that little, I don't know what kind of tree that is, but it's all piled up neat and nice over there. So all you gotta do is kind of go load it up onto a little trailer or whatever and move it to where you want it and yeah so the stump is still over there I actually uh, rented the wrong um, bobcat um, attachment so uh, I can either go rent the right one and bring it out another day and remove it for you or we can leave it there it's up to you Alright, yeah. Alright, thank you. Have a nice day. Alright, they said it's not a big deal. It's... Uh... It's alright for it to be there, so... It's not hurting anything, they said. So... That is gonna be it for me today, guys. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.